Hello and welcome to this massive open online course, Introduction to Bio-Risk Management. In this short video, which will accompany your lecture slides, I will be discussing the engineering control with specific reference to the facility design and the instrumentation associated with this particular facility. I am now at this mechanical control floor and this is a floor which is responsible for controlling all the heating, ventilation and air conditioning equipment in this facility. We will start off with this panel which is controlled from a computer below and this panel controls all the motors and the compressors at this facility. This over here in blue is the air handling unit. The air handling unit comprises a HIPAA filter which filters all the air that enters this facility. And you, as you can see, these filters can be open for periodic maintenance and for replacement of the filter modules. So all the air entering this facility is filtered through this HIPAA filter and the air which exits this facility is filtered through these HIPAA filters as well. Now there are compressors here and these compressors are responsible for maintaining the pressure of the water and the air which is supplied to this facility. Each of the rooms or the units which are located in the floor below is connected to its own individual HIPAA filter. Uh, now if you look at this instrument, this is actually a damper which regulates the flow of air within the facility by opening and closing a valve known as a damper. I will be discussing the dampers in the lecture notes. This is another larger HEPA filter unit which is basically an exhaust unit and it will filter out all the particulates from the air exiting this facility before it is released out into the environment. I will proceed now into the outer space to show you the stroboscopic fans. These are the high plume fans, what are known as strobic air fans. Now all the air which exists from this facility is passed through a HEPA filter and these fans will have a high pressure plume of fan air which is directed high into the environment and this ensures that all the pathogens are effectively filtered out from this facility prior to release into the environment. I will be discussing all these instrumentation in my lecture notes on facility design as part of this MOOC. Thank you.